With me doing more and more live streams, bringing on guests, another live show in the making, a lot of you have asked me, how do I handle my live streaming? How do I build the process? How do I do my promotions? How do I do all the things? And this is exactly what I'm gonna talk about in this series of a few videos where I'm gonna walk you exactly through my process of prepping a live stream, running a live stream, and reusing a live stream. And getting engagement too. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you are ready to streamline your business, to skyrocket your sales, you are perfect on my channel right here. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video and when I go live with my guests. And little pro tip, stay till the end because you will be getting templates too. You don't just have to figure this all out for yourself. But let's start in the beginning. Live streaming. There's a lot of things that go into live streaming when you take it professional. Don't let me freak you out. If you want to go live streaming and you want to start engaging with your followers and do all the things, this little gizmo right here can do the job. Just hit the damn button, as Brian Fanzo always says. It really just matters, go live and do the thing. The moment you wanna step up your game, there's a lot of videos out there on grabbing the right camera and having a good microphone and having good lighting and all the things. I'm not gonna go into all the gear, we might do this in the future. I wanna focus really on the process. How am I prepping my live streams? How can you prep your live streams? How can you make it easy? How can you make it repeatable over and over and over again? As you know, as I always say, if you do something twice, make it a template or automate that stuff. So in this series, I'm gonna take you through how I prep, promote, and repurpose my live stream with all the ins and outs, with all of the templates. So let's dive right in. As you figured, tool number one you're gonna need is ClickUp. ClickUp is pretty much where all of my business is happening. So let's go over to my computer. You might have seen this space before. This is my marketing space. We have a video about this. You can download the templates. You can grab all of this. When we scroll down on this space, there is my ATD, Automate to Dominate. This is my live show. And there we have Rob, which is one of the past shows that we did. As you can see, conversation with my VA that's taking care of getting things done. <laughs> As you also can see, I did not quite do my job and actually check off the work that we did, meaning that one is done, that one is done. So let's mark this complete right now because that one is done. Yes, resolve all items. The live show has been done. Everything is going on. Perfect. This is how it should be looking like. But again, I'm not perfect. When we look in this task, first off, there is the show title. We have the asset for the link there is, the show description, there is imagery, all of the stuff. We have room for the website link at the time when this becomes an official blog post. With the blog post publish date, we have the brain power in here. You might have seen that in some of my other videos where you can say, okay, the main task either way takes a lot of brain power, which is high. I need to be camera ready for this, or it's just a easy admin, don't have to think about it kind of task. The content stage is straight up connected to my lists. We know what that is between recording, video, editing, YouTube, blog, ATD, that kind of thing. You've seen that in the other video. I can note down keywords right here. We usually just do that for the YouTube. When is the live show gonna be happening? Room for the Temi description and all kinds of things. This one down here is the one that is really interesting and where all the nitty gritty comes into, where I need to update the Facebook Messenger bot. There will be a video coming up where Kelly Noble Mirabella actually is going to be on my channel and explaining to you her live stream Facebook bot that I'm using to generate more traffic and more engagement on my live videos. But that thing needs to be updated when there is a new live show. Same with scheduling the live. Using Restream, I can pre-schedule my lives. Unluckily, Facebook only allows us seven days in advance, so that needs to be scheduled. We have the regular live show prep. My VA needs to write the show description and the social media 
posts and all of that kind of stuff. Once it was live, it becomes a blog post on my blog. And then we also need to build evergreen content around the show just to repurpose everything. So this is your look at tool number one, using ClickUp for your live streaming efforts. I will deep dive into how all of this works and how the automation works in a separate video because we have tool number two we need to talk about. Tool number two is Restream. Restream.io is a multi-platform live streaming tool. That's quite a mouthful. What that means is Restream allows you to multi-stream to multiple different platforms at the same time. So for example, my Automate to Dominate show goes live in my Facebook group. It goes live on my Facebook page. It goes live on YouTube. I need to look into streaming on Twitter and a couple of other things. And I forgot LinkedIn too. I don't want to have to run five different cameras plus potentially my phone just to stream this. What Restream allows me is go in, schedule that video, stream it to multiple platforms all at the same time and not have to worry about and we even can pull in comments. You're going to get a closer look to how all of this works too in a separate video because we need to talk about tool number three. I already kind of mentioned that initially in my workflow. ManyChat and you get to see right here. This is the workflow in ManyChat that is happening throughout the live show. So throughout the live show, I'm giving away my show notes. And if the guest is bringing in a freebie or if I'm giving something away, I'm also running a giveaway throughout the live show and you have to be there to win. That helps bring more engagement in and all those kind of things. But because this is not my brainchild, this is actually a template that I got from Kelly Noble Mirabella. She is our bot queen. She will have a guest appearance on my channel to really explain to you how this works and why this works. With this, let's look at tool number four you should have as a live streamer. And you are getting a little bonus with this. Easel. You need graphics. There is no question about it. You need a background for your show when you are stepping it up. Again, legal disclaimer right here. If you are just starting out, take your phone and just go live. We are talking about stepping up your game with live streaming. You need graphics. You need your thumbnail, you need your promotional images, you need an overlay, you need a background, you need all kinds of things. And again, start with a couple of graphics and then go crazy and add to it. Easel is your perfect tool for this. First off, when you go to the blog post, and I'm gonna link that blog post in the comments below, they already have templates for you. You don't even have to go in and build anything. They're already there. There is a blog post that explains exactly how to work with them, what you need with the lower third, with an overlay, with the full size background and all the things. As you can see here in my account, we already have the templates ready. I'm actually showing you the page where all of my recent designs are on rather than the ready to go template library. What you can see here, we have the overlay for the live show. This goes over my video and puts my branding on that show. You also can see the thumbnail. That is what I use for the scheduled video. That is what's going to go on the YouTube video once we take the date out. You also get a little sneak peek on my first look thumbnails right there. Those are the ones I use when I go live for click up releases. My YouTube guys were nice enough to get me that layout ready to go a little bit different than I use for my live show. And I can just go in there, add additional text and pop that in there without having to wait a day for my graphic designer to send those over. We got the square images for Instagram to promote the show. We also got the same kind of layout for the Instagram story. It's all there. It's all templated. I literally just need to grab the image that I get from my speakers that are coming on, delete the background, which Easel does for you, pop them in there, update the text and be done. That's how easy my graphics are the moment my templates are done. Now, as I said, my templates for my live show are custom. They have been built for me. You will not find them in here, but there is a whole bunch of stuff already ready for you. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. So if you just go into templates, you are in the easel templates and you are searching for overlay, those right here, look at those. There is a collection of 
show template overlays. So many different ones. All of those, they are complete collections. Oh, look at those. Those are like click up colors. Let's do that. And there you go. For a show with four guests, full thing, background, show title. That's what I did for a background. You just hide this text um, right there. We just hide the heading. You export that as a JPEG. You have your show background right there. You don't even need to do anything. No worries about it. There is an overlay for your show title or any other things. It's all there. There's an overlay if you just want to show it like this in your show. There's nothing you need to do. It's already there. Now, last but not least, tool number five. We already talked about marketing. We already talked about that you need to promote this. Now, if you've been around my channel, you know I love a go up hold. And a go up hold is my tool, first off, to schedule my promotion. Because as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. There is so many different social media outlets that I'm active on. It allows me to easily schedule the promotion. But not just that, a go up hold also has great reporting where I can see what's happening, what kind of engagement am I getting, what kind of traffic am I driving, and even build myself custom reports. So if you are not just even a live streamer, but potentially even a remote live producer and you are producing shows for others, a go up holds right here is perfect for you. Helping your clients promote their shows and be able by the end of the month to be like, oh, look, custom report. This is what we did for you. It's a no brainer right there. It shows your value. It shows what you've done. It shows what kind of traffic you have been driving. What else do I need to say? <laughs> It's automated. That's what else I can say. These reports are even automated. You set them up once and you stop thinking about it, they automatically go out. You don't even have to think about it, they just go out to your clients and you're like, oh, look how fancy I look and I don't even have to touch it. That's the best work. Now, as I promised you, you will be getting templates. You've seen the mini courses in the past with all of my other setups. I am building this as a mini course for you. You will be seeing these videos in there. You are getting the ClickUp template. You are getting easel templates. And I'm even running a challenge in January on how to bulletproof your live stream. Setting this up with you, building it with you, and helping you streamline that and get it all done. So you don't have to figure it out. And you have me. I'm literally going to be guiding you through this whole setup on how to bulletproof your live stream and automate the living hell out of it. So if you haven't done so yet, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I go live in here and you get to see how all of this works. But also go check the description, go sign up for the waitlist because I'm not gonna take that many people on there. This is gonna be a hands-on challenge and really helping you to get stuff done. So numbers are gonna be limited. Make sure you get on the waitlist. It's right in the description and I'll see you there.